What's going on guys? It's your boy Fox back in the house with another reaction for Epithet Erase. This is episode 6. A little bit bittersweet. It's the second to last episode and then after that, it's the final, you feel me? Crazy, it's been a great time with y'all, it really has been, but we'll save all that sentimental garbage for the last episode. But, one thing before we start, um, uh, you know I don't like keeping these videos that long, but... Um, I want to apologize to the other people who watch my solo leveling and my unordinary reactions. Um, Wednesday, I got sick and I've been sick pretty much since then. Um, I just got, I, really, I pretty much got better like today. Um, I did a collaboration uh, with a friend that should be coming out uh, later on and everything. But I'm going to try and get everything back on schedule. Schedule as concerned as me and all that and everything but you know i wanted to at least get epithet erased uh out on normal time either sunday or monday but yeah i just wanted to apologize so uh so i'm going to be trying to get everything back on schedule this week and we'll continue from there there's some videos that i promised that i would make that should have been made during this uh last week but like i said i got sick but th that's enough talking like i said um i don't like keeping these that long it's gonna be longer than it should be but let's jump straight into it Sweet Jazz Police, I hereby place you under arrest for the theft of the arson amulet. Police lady? Police lady? <laughs> exactly, everyone pulled up the straps. <laughs> Wake up! You've got a lot to do today. Feel proud and wipe your eyes because they stifle the honest state up till dawn. I'm going to miss the song when the show is over. I hope I see them again. I miss Molly. Never know what's the I'm sorry, I can't say it. I can't help it. Yes, last time she got the straps pulled out on her. Episode six. All's well that ends well. Is it though? Well, well, well. Oh it's goodness, the not these clowns again. Who thought she could mess with all men. You've damaged the establishment's door. I hope you intend to repair that. <laughs> <laughs> I like her conviction. She's not even phased by this. She thinks she could give me orders. <laughs> laugh! <laughs> <laughs> Bro, when you guys tell people to laugh, you know it's not funny. In case you haven't noticed, you're completely surrounded. Yes. A sobering reminder of how many have been failed by our society. <laughs> you have my sympathy, but not my surrender. Bro, she don't pull out the real last damn sword. It's over now. There. That wasn't so hard, now was it? What are you punks waiting for? Bro, boss, if we shoot... What is that? Where the hell are you bozos aiming at? It's not us, sir! Look! The bullets! Boing! <laughs> it seems no of your scoff laws noticed the magnetic field I erected between my wizard towers. Perhaps if you'd spent more of your school days studying magical physics instead of drug peddling and chicanery, you would have been better prepared. <laughs> Bruh, your the vocabulary, chicanery. Surrender to the law. Maybe you should have spent more time studying math. There's 20 of us and only one of you. Okay. Yeah! You sold me out to a cop? Hey, 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 hey. I didn't know she was after you specifically. Oh, yeah, right. First those guys take the necklace and now this. What, you lost the necklace? It's been 10 minutes. <laughs> they were mean, okay? <laughs> All this tomfoolery going to get Yeet. Get out of here. Hey, bar guy, is there a back door? I don't know. I haven't been able to taste, smell, or see in 10 years. What? Look. I'll do my best to draw her attention. You look for an opening and try to sneak out of here. Hey, cop, you're looking for the amulet thing, right? I think the big guy over there has it. He does. Bonsai vice principals, the third of the seven bonsai ranks. That young man must have come here to hand the amulet off to his superiors. That's not what happened. <laughs> Shut up and go. It's fortunate that I happened upon this place. I'd love to focus on apprehending you all, but my superiors were clear. The recovery of the amulet takes priority. On guard! On guard! Good old fashioned bro! I haven't seen one of them in years! 
but you can't see. You, you, uh, uh, you should... Bullets are useless so long as my magnetic field stays up. Oh, this ain't buckshot. It's the house special. Smell them up soup. Now featuring up to 22 letters of the alphabet. Smell them up soup? With your choice aside. Ask about our You're shooting me with soup? <laughs> Watch out, he's got soup. My God. The letters in that soup could be rearranged to form any number of messages. And sometimes knowledge is the most dangerous weapon of all. Wait, am I stupid? I think I'm stupid. Out of my way! Of course. Big. It's time to show you fools the power of a bonsai vice principle. I think Bugsy hovers a finger over I'm worried. Ah, look out! That's the boss's special move! I'm scared too. What is about to happen? Oh no. Bro, I just ate. That's disgusting. What's that? Some kind of ice blast? Bugsy bats his oversized stomach like a hippo. <laughs> Not bad. Belly, after eating food, he can launch a random attack by pressing his belly. So it. My power is fueled by food. When I press this button, it launches an attack. What comes out is randomized, so normally I have to eat quite a few things before I get something good. But he ate hot soup and then he shot out a piece of ice. For what? Wait, what? Oh dear. Now that's what I call he a bargain. Never underestimate the power of a smart shopper. I knew it. I knew it was going to be cool. But you can support his allies with the powers of smart savings. Is it really an epithet, though? I mean, it comes in handy for shopping. I need them so I can do my grocery shop. But still. You want to take them out, too? Let them run. I'm just interested in the cop. Oh, uh, what are you doing? Sap him before he gets any closer. I would, but I'm afraid my stamina is quite low after that acrobatic maneuver. If I use my epithet much more, I'll pass out. Also, my arm is frozen. God, geez, I, uh, I, I knew uh, it. Ramsey grabs a pack of crayons from his pocket and holds them up menacingly. Hey, don't move. I got crayons. What are you going to do? Exactly. Color outside the line. Out of the way, eyeball. Okay, you asked for it. Ramsey turns so Percy can't see and changes the tips of the crayons to gold. He sharpens them like darts and chucks them at Bugsy's Ooh. belly like he's trying to pop a big ugly balloon. Ooh. That hurts. That hurts. Goodness. What brand of crayons are those? I certainly hope children aren't buying them. Or I hope worse, so. Consuming them. Well, yeah, no. Didn't they be literally eating gold? Things, uh, fine arts and such. They're uh, uh, forger's crayons. Extra tough. The crayons of debauchery, then. <laughs> what a fiendish weapon to conceal beneath the facade. Debauchery. Of like innocence. <laughs> okay. Bro, no, real talk. He, he, he's literally. Really? Oh, he's still moving. Why is he still moving? Unfortunately for you, I've exchanged your attack for one of equal or lesser value. Appreciate what? the snack, though. Bro, I, I, I know people have been telling me. Not the debauchery. <laughs> Not the debauchery. He's doing something. Hey, you. Got any other tricks up your sleeve? I used to be a government experiment. Yeah, that's about right. <laughs> that explains a lot of things. <laughs> that's disgusting. Rubber ducky. Where's Ernie? Am I having an aneurysm? What is happening? What is I don't know either. Are you some kind of failed magician? <laughs> you failed because your crayons were low quality. I need something worthy of my refined palais. Old man, soup. Now, oh boy, been a long time since I shot a customer in the face. We, what? What was the last time, sir? We can't let the soup hit his maw. Wait, hang on. Let him do it. You're still here? Give me two seconds. <laughs> Hello? <laughs> oh, wait, yeah, Giovanni can't control soup. That's disgusting. Ugh. Hot! It's hot! What's the big idea, old man? You tried to kill me? It 
wasn't the old Hopefully. man. It was I, Giovanni Potage. Bro, why are you still here? <laughs> <laughs> Tremble, fools, and feel the awesome sting of my ultimate attack. Soup that is too hot. <laughs> Soup that is too hot. Hey, hey. What are you gonna do, huh? Call your scared little minions to stop me? They're too busy hiding under the tables! <laughs> Guess you're not very strong after all, huh? Seriously though, you guys should quit the bonsai blasters and follow me! Giovanni Potter! Bruh, that's the real oh, mastermind. Is your name. Duly noted. What? No, nah, oh yeah, and you just snitched on yourself. My, uh, stage name. I'm holding it for a friend. Bro, come on now. You think you can just shoplift my minions? I'll show you. He pulls out his wallet and begins flipping through coupons like a soccer mom. Stop <laughs> that. Oh, my coupons. The only sale oh, you is two losers for the price of one. But don't doubt the power of coupons. Uh, I know that for certain. Later, nerds. <laughs> oh, oh. Sheriff. No, no, my fault entirely. Sorry, friend. No, it's fine. Don't worry about it. Sheriff. Thank goodness you're here. A bar fight has broken out. Oh no! Is my takeout okay? Here you go, Sheriff. <laughs> the bag of alphabet soup. Hold the soup. Oh wow, great! Now I can Wait. rearrange the letters and finally learn how to spell. Sheriff, I don't know if you've noticed, but there's an overabundance of criminals <laughs> on the premises. What is going on? That's scary. Sheriff. Am I? <laughs> well. At least I learned the bonsai blaster's name. And that hot soup did manage to melt the ice binding me. All that's left to do is clean up the mess. So why were you worried in the first place then? You alright? Get him! Right. Get out from under those tables, you cowards! Come on! My ability allows you to attack with the power of five men! <laughs> but only if four of you attack at the same time. Ramsey just casually walks behind Arnold and turns his coupons into gold. What? No! My coupons! What? No! You, you should be happy. You could turn those in. Well, no, then he would just turn it back into gold. You turn it back into a coupon. Hmm. Well, there's only one thing to do in a situation like this. Run. Sayonara, sucker! Yep. But they, you ten ton tub of worthless! <laughs> Bro, that's what you're scared of is the cat with the gun. That's terrifying. Bye. Where are you I going, trip. bro? A valiant effort, but I'm afraid no one escapes the long arm of the law. <laughs> now, where did your friend roll off to? Ha! I ain't gonna sell it out. Oh, that's a real shame. Because if you do, I bet this bar has some pretty great deals we could offer you on meals. You probably can't pass up on a good deal. You need to know this. That's life. Now I've got a coupon that takes twenty dollars off your next meal. It's called a twenty dollar bill. If you buy a meal over five dollars in value, you get two sides and dessert for free. Plus a complimentary play on our deer hunting arcade machine that doesn't work. But what do you think? Pretty good deal, huh? It's that's a, a terrible deal. Uh, I shouldn't, but. Uh, the potential savings exactly really bro up. real talk you can't pass up on a good deal no matter what even if you right. even if it's something that you don't want right it's a good deal you'll get it it's just a little ways into the woods now give me understood come along partner we haven't a moment to lose sir i trust we can leave this man in your custody until we return he's blind <laughs> and deaf i'm real trustworthy <laughs> and he's a cat hold my gun very good. And he's a Don't government experiment. <laughs> okay. Still blind. I guess that means you're out of my shot. Cat, hand me my gun. Epithet erased. Oh no. <laughs> the commercial. <laughs> I guess that means you're out of my side. Epithet erased. The ghost of my hat haunts me still. Bro, I think he just became my favorite character for a little, one of my favorite characters of the show because he's nuts. So. Ten minutes, I was gone. I don't know, man. It's not my fault, dude. You've crashed five cars in the same year. I think you're the common denominator at that point. The These are facts. Oh, 
Okay, first of all, the I road was like I'm sure you have astigmatism or something and you should really get that checked out. I worry about you. Second, the cop knows my name. It's Let's your fault though. Now. I got to get out of here and find some place to hide. I'm a wanted man. Oh, oh, they're going to propose But you already wanted everywhere. before this. The police will search my internet history for e crimes. Who knows how long I have before they start sending bounty hunters after me? How to boys? Hey, Zora, you baby, it, how you buddy. been? Maybe you can help a girl out. Yes. I'm looking for a necklace. I give you whatever Train necklace station, you want, baby. Uh, maybe I can hop in one of the cars and head out of here before Zora even knows I'm gone. Nah, those rickety things are so slow I might as well be walking. And she could track me through the forest. But so long as I got this wizard cop, I should be safe. <laughs> wizard cop. <laughs> she hurt. Whoa. All right. Apologies. I know time is of the essence, but I haven't fully recovered from that last encounter yet. You should take a nap. Stamina pool is rather low. I wish I'd picked up something to drink at that tavern. I don't think you want anything out of there. If you want it. Oh, gladly. Bruh, am I missing something with these pine cones? Can you drink a pine cone? I'm pretty sure this is a stupid question. Someone let me know. Have you ever before supped upon pined cone? It's quite cone. You just have to know the proper way to milk the cone. Never say those words ever again. Exactly. Well, it's not much, but it helps. Thank you. I'm sorry. I just realized I never asked your name. Uh, Ramsey. Ramsey. Bruh, if Ramsey mm -hmm. and something about that I forget her name. Percy yeah, Percy date, I'm gonna well, be I'm, sure. I'm gonna be well met. Crazy. No, I'm it's shipped. King. Ramsey and Percy. Uh, so detective, you uh you zap people, huh? But you zap people a lot, but you zap them pretty good? I zap only in accordance with the law. That's public property, officer. The quality of my buildings is only as good as their foundation, and I'm finding that much of this town is unsuited for it's piece of, it, Town is crappy, that, is what well, it is. For instance, there's nothing well about it. Ha. The a little puns. joke at grandma's expense. I have now broken the ice. Wait, there was a tavern and a well 20 feet away, and that sheriff was serving me pine cones? There better not be any water in this thing. We can easily find out the answer. Exactly. Why don't you pull up the to the, the bucket? Tune of one Canadian dollar. So you're Canadian? It appears to be not but mud. Ain't had any water in that well for twenty odd years. I oughta know. I'm the well watcher. That's your yeah? that's your job. Uh, how's that pay? No one gets paid in Redwood Run. Well, there's a dollar at the bottom of the well. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. That is strange. I do not think I have ever been to Canada. Mysteries upon mysteries. Looks like there's an open spot for well watcher. Guess I've been promoted to sky watcher. Congratulations. What am I watching? <laughs> right. We can't let those criminals escape. Uh, by the by, you think it's okay to leave that coupon guy back in the tavern like that? Not to worry. Those were eraser cuffs I put on him. Oh, you, <laughs> you got eraser cuffs, huh? Every self-respecting officer carries a pair or two on Bruh, their I think person. The, just I think the coupon the man's dead. Tom Canary. Of course, I must be careful with them. Anyone in contact with the cuffs forgets their own epithet entirely, myself included. <laughs> yeah, so what, if you forget your own epithet, epithet you can you use... Well, I guess... I don't know. Never mind. Totally Indeed, I'd be quite useless without my abilities. You keep saying stuff like that. You know, if you keep underestimating Mondays, they might just surprise you. Oh? He taps his golden eye. Wasn't an inscribed who did this to me. I'll tell you that much. You never really know what people are capable of. So keep an eye out. Or else you might lose one. Brother, puns are strong sure in this one. That in mind. Just as I feared, more bonsai blasters. I like this beat. The backup for coming into town. Yeah, good point. Maybe we'd better head back to the city or anywhere else. Just get as far away from here as possible. You know, uh, we can find more cops that way. Cops like. Bro, you can't run from Zora. None of us can. I'm afraid not. I know I can't. Give up the chase now would guarantee their escape. She has my heart. Yeah, worth a shot. I don't see that big guy anywhere. 
How do you want to handle this? Any buildings I construct on a dirt floor will be weak, and my stamina is still low. We'll have to play this carefully. I'll construct a forge to increase our defenses. Perhaps we can but, lure them into some kind of trap. But never mind. Next, I'll lay down a wizard tower. Percival King. Howie Honey Glow. What are you doing here? What's up, bro? You look, he look dope. Plane. You looking to take another job from me and my worker bees? Stand <laughs> down, Howie. I'm on police business. You, uh, you know this guy? Indeed. Howie Honeyglow, contractor and builder for hire. In what? addition to my Bro, why are you hitting it with a wrench though? I'm just saying, I do construction. This doesn't Howie look and proper. Howie I often find ourselves applying for the same positions. He's one of the best. Have to be if you want to stay alive in this business. If someone else can throw up a building in two hours with their epithet, that just means we gotta do it in one. Howie begins building at an unbelievable speed, splitting iron and sealing rivets in the blink of an eye. Like the building he's assembling is a toy in a commercial. With one arm so, and one hour, where well, you're a genius. No. Howie is a Mundy. Wow. You said it yourself. They can surprise you. You can be as mundane as you like when you know how to do your goddamn job. <laughs> yes, That's right. Her. That's the cop the bus has told us about. Nobody move or I will shoot you with my gun. Okay. Um, hello? Move. Oh, I got a job to do. I ain't got nothing to do with this. Do your job. I'll do mine. Exactly. I'm for realsies right you now. You just shot my clock. That's the best man. Yeah, we're the bonsai blasters. And oh goodness. Right now we own this town. Teenage children. You broke my clock, dude. Did you hear me? I said don't. Bro, he just bent a wrench with his hand. You should be scared. Mm -hmm. Boomerang man! You do my goddamn job. It is right, you tell him, bro. <laughs> it rearranged it, it's stamina is max. Mad at me. Where did you think we were headed? I don't know. I was following you. Hey, what's that? Hmm? What? Looks like a bullet. Not sure what it's doing up here, though. Eat it. <laughs> I was kidding. Not bad. I could go for seconds. Oh, well, you're going to get a whole bunch more than that. Wait, what? Lethal and they just deal minor impact damage. Why would you feel the need to just declare that out loud? That shouldn't even be true. There you are. For a second, I was worried I was gonna have to do some more goose chasing. Come here. Uh, that's mine. <laughs> can I take it? Yes, I can. I fair and square. No, you didn't. Where, where? Call an ambulance. No, it's mine. It's mine. <sighs> gonna cry like a baby you might as well look the part wait um hello did she ever just regress him into a child now let's see if we can't find ramsey wait hold up wait a minute zora i love you i do but you can't be allowed to have that type of power that's broken beyond belief if it, if it, it cannot be time manipulation Time power is always broken. Okay, I like this song. Anywho, <laughs> um, honestly, guys, I don't know what what I just watched, and I love every bit of it. I love this show. Next episode is gonna be so sad, because I feel like it should it deserves more episodes. So. I don't know where you can go support the creators of this show or whatever, but if you know a way to 
let me know so I may let other people know to support because this needs I need more episodes of this but guys do the stuff that I normally tell you to do like comment subscribe hit that bell for notifications for when I drop more videos shout out to my one and only patron uh just for hitting that button you, you are a mad lad like I said you don't know how bad you threw me off and everything once again I want to apologize for just not uh having my regular videos up like I said got sick and it just crazy. It, it, it be it be like that sometimes. Now I'm sad. But anywho, guys, y'all have been keep crushing it like you've always been. Let's get this video to 40 likes. And guys, I hope you have a wonderful day, night, or evening, whenever the hell you are watching this. Ooh, I can't talk. Ah.